Welcome to Devotional Daily. Today is April 18. Our title is God in the Flesh. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. John 11:25. Jesus was a controversial figure, but there is really nothing spectacular about that in and of itself. Controversies have surrounded great men throughout history. The debate about him, however, is different. Normally, controversies revolve around the ideas of the individual in question. It is their ideas that provoke conflicts. Take, for example, the ideas of Karl Marx. He stirred controversy because of his revolutionary theories. Or consider a man like Sigmund Freud, the subject of enormous disputes because of his curious and unconventional explanations for the causes of mental dysfunctions. The conflicts produced by these thinkers, in their time and afterwards, revolve around the opinions they held, and this is true with all controversial men. But the controversies about Christ are different. Perhaps, with some exceptions, his ideas are universally applauded. Who would oppose his ethics? Love your neighbor, serve the poor, be truthful, great is the one who serves, forgive others, and shun vanity, greed, and avarice. Everyone, at least outwardly, agrees with the wisdom and plausibility of such advice. The moral value of Jesus has rarely been denied or rejected throughout history. On the contrary, Jesus Christ has been a source of inspiration for multitudes, both Christians and non-Christians. But unlike Marx, Freud, or anyone else, what makes Jesus questionable for many are not primarily the ideas he expressed, but who he claimed to be, God incarnate. If Christians consider Jesus to be just a great man, a philosopher, a genius, a guru, or even a prophet, there would be no controversy about him. He would be considered and revered by all. It is not what he taught, but who he was or who he claimed to be that bothered and still bothers people. Jesus was God in flesh, and that created all the controversy. But without it, Christianity becomes just another opinion, another philosophy without any essential value. If we accept that Jesus is really God incarnate, consistency demands obedience, devotion, and submission. And this is precisely what millions do not want to accept.